what's up y'all it is the lovely katsia i hope you guys are having a great day period or a great morning because it's literally 8 30 a.m i am working from home now oh, la, la, la. this is my second day this is my second day y'all and i'm loving it my schedule is so relaxed it, I literally have a giant break until like 11. It is 8.30. And they said, just work out any IT kinks since we just started, if there's any problems. But I haven't even got my laptop yet. <laughs> I'm having to work from home on my um, my personal until the one that they're sending me and my monitor get here. But I'm just happy. Yes. It's a great day in the neighborhood. I'm enjoying it so far. Granted, it's not always going to be this wide open for my schedule, but I definitely will have flexibility. And it's just different. Like she said, if you want to work from seven to four, you can work from seven to four. If you want to do nine to six, you could do nine to six, but figure out a schedule and just let us know what works for you. Like if you want to do like a little whatever, like whatever you need to do. And I'm like, wow. She says, as long as you're getting your stuff done from nine to three, when the clients can get to you and talk to you or whatever. You're good. So I love that, literally. And then if I need time off, like, she's not funny about it. They will literally give you the time off. If you have the days, they have backup people who can help, which was not a thing in Daily Rental. Like, if you were not there, the day was rough. If it was a busy day or a regular day, it was just rough for everybody else. And it sucked because I don't want it to be my attendance or lack thereof to be that much of a weight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't make the whole business feel like it's about to fall apart because we don't have enough hands on deck to get everything done. Like, because sometimes you have to do stuff. Like, sometimes you have to go places. And sometimes you don't need to do any of that. You really just need to use a vacation day um, to rest or your PTO or whatever to rest, literally. And so I really appreciate the fact that this part of Enterprise is less demanding in that sense and the pay is better and i'd rather be in my house than commuting and driving around because gas prices right now are still astronomical three dollars fifty sixty seventy cents mm -mm. i'm not driving okay 49 cents even too much i miss the days when gas was two dollars okay give me the two dollar one dollar gas that covid gas without covid hello but whatever Neither here nor there. Um, I really enjoy it. But yeah, my next Zoom meeting is going to be at 1130. Also, y'all. Well, I can't tell y'all that. Yeah. Y'all almost got me. I almost told y'all something I wasn't supposed to say yet. But when it happens, I'll say something. Um, I'm just really excited. I'm happy to be here. And yeah. I need to get my life. I've been trying to drink more water. I bought this giant thing of smart water because I don't know. It's like I'll drink like the regular size bottles, but I still feel like I'm not getting enough intake. So I'm trying to get like the bigger size bottles and drink a good bit of those throughout the day. Like just really get my hydration on. I'm not going to, if I'm not like, if I literally can't stomach it, I'm not going to force myself to do that because that's not good. But just making sure I have my right water intake. I'm taking that a lot more serious these days. And I love water. My family, we've always been big on water. But some days I just fall a little bit short in my water intake. And I'm trying to be mindful to drink the right amount, if not more. So yeah, staying hydrated, babes, period. Hydration to help me be the best me that I can be. Healthy legend, doing my J-O-B minding my business period but yeah y'all this is a look nothing crazy black tea of course i'm wearing the bottoms i want to wear um because why not <laughs> they can't see my bottoms but i have a cardigan black tea and this is just the makeup look nothing crazy my usual look i don't really switch up my makeup look my makeup look is pretty consistent this is just what it is. <laughs> I need to get some more like options. I don't know. Some girlies have like a bunch of different. I always do my makeup like this. Maybe different lashes. That's what changes. But the everything else is pretty consistent. But yeah, y'all. Just want to update y'all on that. But let me get off this. Watch some of my shows. Maybe take a nap. Okay. Until my next Zoom. Big purr. Bye. So... Right now, I am looking for stuff for my new apartment. <clears throat> Super excited. 
we will be moving into next month, which is a new chapter for me. Um, some people know, some people don't. Let me look so I don't get hit. Um, but some, it's a new chapter for me, so I'm really excited. Um, and I have like a bunch of gift cards, so I'm probably gonna use them here. Well, some of them here, because well, I'm at Burlington, excuse me. Burlington's cheap, like really cheap, so if they have any stuff that I actually like, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get some things here. I actually got this Adidas shirt here. They have like a lot of cute little loungewear things that did lose, so hopefully I can find something um in the home decor area because that's more of what i'm focused on getting stuff for the house getting like not house apartment um house apartment whatever but getting stuff for the apartment getting decor getting bathroom stuff um but i'll show you guys what i find hopefully i'll find something cute we shall see all right y'all so i have a bunch of stuff literally there's so many cute things here and if you've ever shopped at Burlington, you know that it's like dirt cheap. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I got basically all the essentials, um, plates, mugs, cups. I need to, it's a few bowls in here, so I think I'll be okay, but I definitely want to get more. I got some pots and pans because I definitely need to have those. Um, I already went ahead and got some basically shower mats for both bathrooms um because it's a two bed two bath um got some decor pillows for the living room um gotta order the couch but i'm gonna wait a little bit um later to get the couch um and then what else got silverware uh throw blanket knives utensils just a bunch of kitchen stuff and like i guess um some like oh i need to get that a shower caddy i do um i got a bunch of like kitchenware um some decorative pillows and stuff for the living room um but yeah that's what been my main focus for today i do want to get like comforters and duvets and all the things but i'm probably going to do that a different day i want to at least make sure that i have like my main stuff that i really really need and then i'll worry about like the additional stuff but i really do want to get the pillows and stuff today anyways because um, I will be getting the couch soon and that's like kind of priority like the important areas um, I want to be fully furnished and ready to go so of course like my room living room bathrooms trying to get everything taken care of and then the secondary room I'm gonna work on little by little but I'm in no rush um, to get that done just yet so yeah I'm I wish I would have recorded while I was grabbing everything so y'all could really see like all the stuff I got but look at all this let me show y'all for real when I tell you this daggone cart is jam-packed, ooh, and I got a decorative like clock, but it, you can actually read it, like read the time. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So yeah, um, I need to get a shower caddy, so I'm probably gonna get this one because I like black. Um, and I need to get shower curtains for the secondary room because my shower is a giant walk-in glass um, glass door showers, so there's no need for that. But yeah, loving it. Y'all, so I'm back home. I know I told y'all I was gonna show y'all more in detail what I got, but honestly, I'll probably just save it for whenever I do an apartment tour so y'all can see um, what it's looking like, what it's cooking like. But I did put a good, a good dent in the list of stuff that I needed to get um do i have a lot more stuff i need to get yes but did i am i off to a great start yes i would say i have almost half of what i need i'm almost at the halfway point but i feel like uh, the next couple things that i do get will push me over oh jesus will push me over sorry i'm tired will push me over that halfway point and I have almost everything I need for my apartments, period. I'm ready to enter into this next step, this next stage of life. Living on my own, outside of my parents' place. Uh, I mean, I lived on my own when I went to school, but this will be like new beginnings or whatever. Um, so lots of good stuff. I'm not sharing everything with you guys just yet. Um... But 
This is one of the things I want to disclose. Give y'all a little bit more this time, period. But yeah, I really want to get decor and stuff, like more decor. I got a few things, but I, I feel like I'm going to just hold off on getting that. I need to make sure I have all the essentials that I need before I start cashing out on like paintings and extra stuff like design like extra designer decor stuff or whatever you know what i'm saying so but yeah i'm just happy i'm happy because i feel like everything's starting to come together and y'all there was another apartment complex there were two that i liked there was one that was initially like my number one pick but then people hold on sorry y'all them people were shady, okay? They were shady. They left stuff out. Their communication wasn't clear. They were switching stuff up without telling me and basically saying, oh, well, I just didn't know, blah, 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 but didn't apologize, didn't try to make nothing right. It was just chopped. It was big chopped, and, I, and it pissed me off. It truly pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. So... I was like, I don't even think I'm going to go with y'all. I'm going to go over here. And, and well, I didn't tell them where I was going, but I just told them, I'm going to go ahead. Ooh. Lord. I said, y'all just go ahead and refund me my money and I go about my business. So they said they're going to refund me my application fee and everything else. And I'm going to just skedaddle to the dang on left, okay? Because I'm not fooled with them. But the apartment complex that... Um, I did end up going with. They're really cool, good pricing, good amenities that they're not charging for. Hello. It's a smart apartment, so it has a lot of really nice features. It's just nice. It's in a good area. It's not far from my parents' house. Like, I, it's just nice. It's ideal. It, it is close to everything. So it's close to what I need to get to. Stores, it's close to the mall, it's close to whatever. It's close. Like, you can get everywhere you need to get to in a reasonable amount of time. So I really like it. And it's cute. It's aesthetic. It's aesthetically pleasing. And I'm super excited to, like, design it and make it my own. Make it feel like home, you know? But yeah. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff going well, I will say. And I praise God for that. And I pray that things are going well for you guys too and even if you're in a season where things aren't going so well have faith because we all go through those seasons I even was going through a season where things weren't necessarily the greatest but God saw me through it so if you have the faith to believe that God will get you through those seasons you have the prayer life to back it up and the heart's posture to back it up that you know in your heart of hearts that God is going to answer those prayers and get you into your next it's gonna happen but you better believe it you better pray about it and speak it as if it was. Come on. Hello. But yeah, y'all. Um, that's really what's been going on. Um, there's a few other things, of course. And I will be disclosing little by little. You guys are going to be in the know. As soon as y'all need to know, y'all are going to know. Y'all know I like to keep my YouTube family locked in, period. But yeah, that's really it for this time. Um, when I do have everything set up, it'll be later it's not gonna be as soon as you would think the moving date is not for another couple of weeks so i'm just trying to rack up stuff now and get everything in place so that when i move in i don't have to do too much running around and oh my gosh i need this oh my gosh i need that i literally made a list and i'm checking it off as i go and if there's stuff that i realize oh i need i add it to the list and when i get it i check it off just so to make sure that i'm on my p's and q's and have everything that i need but yeah sorry if i sound congested like i've been so stopped up I don't even know. Like, I'm just like, am I sick? Like, I be taking allergy pills, but I still be like stopped up sometimes. So I'm like, I don't know. And I be taking vitamins and everything else, y'all. Send help. If if you know what works to get decongestion, help me, y'all, please. Because my nose don't even be running. I'm just, I, I try to blow my nose and nothing like, bro. It might just be because of the seasonal changes too. Because you know when it's going from hot to cold, sometimes it just messes with your sinuses. I really don't know. But y'all keep me lifted up. But yeah, outside of that, I'll keep y'all posted on all the new good news. Y'all don't talk about my bonnet. If you talk about my bonnet, you racist. You racist, buddy. Don't talk about my bonnets, period. But yeah, um, I'll keep, keep you guys posted on everything. I am about to call my man and go to sleep. So I will talk to you guys later. 
Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. For those of you who are already locked in, thank you so much. I love you. You already know how we rock it, period. But yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.